Specimens in the bending test are usually inches long. A23, B16, C6, D0.564. The correct answer is 6. The edges of a specimen of forging stock are rounded to a radius in a bending test. A20, B16, C1, D116. The correct answer is 116. It is usually preferred for shop bending to take all the present bends grain. A across. B above. C below. D parallel. The correct answer is across. The bending in the bending tests is achieved B either or. A lightly rolling and tossing. B application of pressure and blow from a hammer. C ethanol and methane. D diamond indenting and washing. The correct answer is application of pressure and blow from a hammer. Bending tests are conducted to ensure that the material has enough A force, B hardness, C impact, D ductility. The correct answer is ductility. If the bend of a bend test has to be gauged to its complete extent of bend must be computed. A inner circumference. B the inner minus outer circumference. C outer circumference. D inner radius. The correct answer is outer circumference. If the specimen being tested is heavy in weight it should have a cross section. A circular. B spherical. C rectangular. D triangular. The correct answer is rectangular. Fatigue stresses will most likely destroy the material if the bending test is performed on them. A true. B false. C. D. The correct answer is false.